The first thing I do every day is take my glandular supplements. We have four here. I don't necessarily take all of these every day, but for the most part, I do take the male virility and third eye every day. Third eye is for creativity. Male virility is for like focus. The thyroid I will take if I'm feeling cold or warm. It kind of helps with temperature regulation. The thyroid hormones can also regulate appetite. And then the adrenal is just kind of for like energy throughout the day if I feel really fatigued. Today, we're going to do a little bit of each of them. And I also take a, a half of a kratom pill in the morning if, you know, I'm not in a good mental state. If I don't feel good, this kind of gets me a little happier and kind of ready to start the day. So in addition to the glandulars and the half kratom pill, I'll have a little bit of masticum just to get the taste of the glandulars out of my mouth. And then I will hydrate with plenty of glass bottle mineral water, go on my computer for half an hour, whatever, catch up with all the work I need to do in the morning, and then sit down for breakfast. Oh, you know what? Let me show you the amounts of each of these I take. So the third eye, I will use a full scoop of what it comes with. That's about one gram. The thyroid support, I don't really do that much. Maybe like a little more than that. You know, I definitely don't use a full scoop, probably not even like a quarter scoop. This is about what I use for the thyroid. The male virility, I'll take the most of, probably like half of a scoop, sometimes almost even a full scoop. So that's the amount of the male virility I would take. And then the adrenal, I'm usually very careful with, uh, probably this, about the same amount as the thyroid. So the adrenal and thyroid are very potent. I'm probably, <laughs> I should really put uh, the smaller scoops in the uh, adrenal and thyroid which i think we'll do next batch so we'll have to we'll have to change the label and change the the dosing and the scoop size and everything but most people experiment with this uh, and don't really have too many issues outside of the adrenal that's why the adrenal actually has a warning on the website because if you take too much of it the the stress hormones like very 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 potent so you got to be a little careful and figure out what dosing you feel good on but as I said, I noticed a lot more creativity with the third eye. I can like visualize things better. The thyroid, temperature regulation, male virility, kind of focus and clarity. And then the adrenal is just for kind of energy the whole day. So try this stuff out, guys. Organ supplements, the Kratom pill, uh, sometimes needed, sometimes not needed as much. But we have the mastic on my end there too and everything else. So we're doing the collagen pancakes for breakfast. I showed you guys this recipe I don't know, maybe two or three months ago now. It's just a nice balance of easily digestible protein, a lot of starch, a lot of fiber to kind of soak up all that toxic bile in the morning. Great for liver detox, a little bit of sugar, vanilla, salt to make it tasty. And we're going to put some organic maple syrup on there, guys. All the ingredients for this are available on the foods website, frankiesrangefoods.com. We're going to have a bit of honey crisp apple on the side just for some freshness, you know, higher volume, higher water content, more fiber, keep the gut in check, keep everything moving. Supplement wise for breakfast is a little different than the rest of the meals. So I like doing the multi-mineral one, the B-complex, one of those, and one of the vitamin C. So I only take these three with my first meal with breakfast in the morning. The B-complex to get all my B vitamins for the day, the multi-mineral to get a little bit of everything, and the vitamin C for the antiscorbutic properties, which is especially important on a high carbohydrate diet. And then I'll have one calcium capsule because the calcium is not in the multi-mineral. We did that because a lot of people have too much calcium in their body. And we also have three probiotic capsules here to have as our, uh, as our gut health thing with breakfast. So that's gonna be it. Pancakes, apple, supplements, water, hydrate, and then we'll have some mastic gum with some charcoal to wrap up the meal. Quick look at lunch, pretty similar to what we had last time except a different protein source. So we got the Iberico pork tenderloin, little salt and pepper on each side, steak sauce in the pan, and then I poured all the juices and that steak sauce into the white bean puree to give it more flavor to dip my bread in. It's also kind of you know, preserving the B vitamins and extra nutrition that came out of that Iberico pork tenderloin. So we have a nice, lean, nutritious, high quality source of protein for the amino acids, B vitamins, some minerals, iron, all that stuff. The main caloric content of the meal, we have our sourdough kind of fry bread, just flour, water, sourdough starter, a little bit of coconut oil, some salt, ferment it overnight, 
fried in coconut oil in the pan. That's really just starch, the bulk of pure carbohydrate, not too much fiber, which is why we're having the white bean puree, which is our soluble fiber, detox the liver, also some minerals in there. So real, real bulk of carbohydrate, starch, fiber mix to soak all that toxic bile coming out of the liver. What also does that is the glucose and fructose and fiber in the Honeycrisp apple. We're also adding some volume to it to increase gum motility. Supplement wise, we have one zinc, one molybdenum that counters copper toxicity, uh, three magnesium capsules that helps with that as well. And we have one calcium and three probiotic. Uh, might have missed the calcium here, but everything else is definitely here. One zinc, one of the zinc complex, one of the molybdenum, three of the magnesium, one calcium, and then we have three of the natural probiotic, which is actually in the fridge. Uh, sometimes I do four or five with a larger meal like this, still messing around with the amount. And then we're just going to finish it off with maybe half a teaspoon of mastic gum, some one activated charcoal capsule. Most meals I'll have, depending on how I feel, I'll have maybe half of a Kratom pill in it, but I just had one before uh, I took a long drive today, so I had some on the drive. So since I just had one like an hour ago, I'm going to skip that for this meal. Maybe we'll have one for dinner. All right, guys, same dinner we've been having for a while now. A few modifications. So the big bowl of organic udon noodles, if you guys want to try these, frankiestreamfoods.com, only pasta I can tolerate. We got the same white bean puree from lunch, which is just white cannellini beans and artichokes. And I added a bit of the Frankie steak sauce, which adds a lot of flavor to it. We put in some collagen broth for some more protein, some amino acids. And I also diced up a little bit of prosciutto, extra prosciutto I had lying around, almost give it like a carbonara flavor. So really delicious, big bowl of starch with a little bit of fiber, kind of help detox the liver. Not too much protein, but you know, a decent balance of what we need for liver detox. Supplement wise, we're just doing zinc, molybdenum, and three of the probiotic. We're gonna have the apple for dessert, and then the same thing, mastic gum, and charcoal at the end of the meal to help soak those toxins coming out of the liver, the toxic bile. So if you guys wanna try out any of the high quality and organic health foods that you saw here today, you can go to frank com to check out Frankie's Syringe Meat, Frankie's Syringe Foods, Organ Supplements, as well as Wi-Fi Shielding and Frankie's Naturals for all my unique and affordable health businesses. As always, thank you guys for joining me. You can drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon.